Hey students, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to make a parachute. So you're gonna need a trash bag, a ruler, some string. If you don't have any, ask me. Uh, and when you come to class and I can give you some, you're gonna need some scissors and some tape. Decide on what shape you want your parachute to be in. You can use one of these models. Those little lines represent strings. You don't have to use one of these, but these are just some that um, I suggest you can use. You can also Google designs if you'd like, or do use your own uh, unique style. Once you have your trash bag though, I would cut it so it's at least a nice big piece. This one here happens to be 12, about 20, 20 inches by 12, 24, about 27 inches. That's a good starting point. You can always start big and then trim smaller if, uh, if you need to, because remember, your parachute has to fit in here in the nose cone. So you want it to be big because the bigger it is, the more air resistance as your rocket falls. But if it's too small, it won't hold up the rocket. It will just plummet to the ground. But if it's too big, it won't fit in there. So you want to have just kind of the right size. So I suggest starting pretty big and then trimming it if it doesn't fit in that uh, rocket nose cone. Watch the video on the, how to create the rocket first if you haven't done that, uh, because that's the first video you should uh, make first. First create the rocket and then I'll show you how to make the parachute and attach it. So once you find your corners of your parachute, I would suggest you trim it. Make sure it's as equal shaped. For example, this would not be a good example. You want it to be a lot straighter, so use your ruler to help guide you. But this is the part that some kids have issues with. How do you attach the string? Reinforce the edges where the strings are going to go. If it's going to be four strings, one on each side or six or however, Put some tape on the top and on the bottom. Then use a pen or pencil or a, something sharp like a scissors to poke a hole. Then you take your string and you just tie it through like so. Once you tie it there, try to keep all the corners the same. For example, if this um, string is gonna go here, about an inch from the edge of the Parachute, try to be equidistant here and also do the same thing on the top side. The thing is, if it's not even, sometimes the parachute does not open up and deploy correctly. So you wanna have the strings be the same size and you wanna have everything measured out as fast as you can equal distance. The strings, it depends on the size of the parachute, how long the string should be to attach to your parachute. A good starting point is at least 24 inches. So two times the size of this ruler, 24 inches. And then you cut, you thread, through and then you tie it. So this is a good start. You might want to do a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. You can play around with it. You can always tie, tie this parachute to test it. Um, what I would do is I would get something heavy like a few washers or if you have something you want to tie to, throw it in the air and see how it performs. If you live in an apartment, if it's safe, you want to uh, attach something to it and then deploy it to see if it opens up. Your rocket, when it's fully built, will weigh about half a pound. So that's something to kind of test out. You can also test the whole rocket if you live on the second floor, just be careful. If you drop it from a roof, that it doesn't break. And you can attach it to your rocket to see if it's gonna open up and deploy and if it works or not. But anyways, once your uh, parachute is complete, let's say this parachute is complete, you would take the strings that are all tied, let's say it has four. Make sure you fold it as neat as you can. Don't just crumple it up into the nose cone. You wanna try to fold it as best as you can. And then take your nose cone, open it up, take these strings and then use some tape to attach it here. So if it has four strings, tie the four strings here. Not tie, sorry, tape. Do not use hot glue gun because if you do, it might melt this bottle and then the air will leak out and they won't open up. So again, use some tape or something here to, t uh, to attach it and then once your parachute is folded, see if you can fold it onto the nose cone. And again, you want to drop it if you live somewhere that's two stories or if you want to just throw it in the air. Now, this is a good test here. You want to make sure that it closes. Like this one might be a little bit on the big side, so you might want to unfurl it and like maybe trim it so that it could fit a little bit better. All right, good luck. Send me a message in Google Classroom if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye.